Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Matt Becker Video. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Green Flash C2C Lager, 4% alcohol by volume. Best served in a mason jar to confirm your pretentiousness. Note the light yellowy piss color. Smells like beer. Mm, very, very light, effervescent. It kind of reminds me of sand. As always with Pilsners, it tastes like Spanish rice. So sit back with this frothy golden lager and enjoy the next installment of Matt Becker Video. That girl is a real crowd please. Small world, all the friends know of me. Well, it's Tuesday, December 20th. Another cold day in Providence. I lost my gloves a couple nights ago. It was kind of funny. I realized I had lost my gloves and we were at a bar. I went back to the bar to find my gloves. My gloves weren't there, but all my money had fallen out of my pockets and was all over the floor. So that worked out. I'm not too remiss about not having my old gloves because I rediscovered these gloves that Lisa had made for me. Thank you, Lisa. Glad to have these again. Okay, it's actually the most wonderful time of the year. Watch this. Yeah, let's just settle for this for a second. All right, let's try it. Need a bigger stone. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, now listen close. So why is that sound occurring? Well, to the best of my knowledge, so we're at a point in the season where the water is just beginning to freeze. A very, very thin surface layer of ice. It's still thick enough that it won't be broken by any rocks hitting it. Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, so yeah, the ice is still thin enough that it won't be broken when the rock hits it but it's thin enough that it basically acts like a drum membrane. Think about it like a thin, uh, taut drum skin. And so when something strikes it, it's able to propagate the energy throughout the ice and it creates a little boing sound. So pretty cool. If you see a frozen lake, throw some stones at it. At least try to skip it like a rock so you reduce the chance of breaking it. And yeah, enjoy the sound. What does it mean when you find a dog tag but no dog? Just using some heavy equipment to move leaves. Currently on my way to Walgreens. Get all the supplies that I've been needing for probably months. Hey, look, I found a fossil. Yep, appears we got here a uh, Canis familiarius. Oh, penny. Wow, I mean, isn't everything just so fascinating? I've been researching some tips from uh, YouTube on how to make a better blog. And they say the number one rule of advice is to be your authentic self. Oh boy. I might have to start a new segment called, What Lives in This Hole? It'd be too big to live in. So this squirrel nest probably does just fine. I spent too long at Walgreens. It's kind of crazy that right now, turtles are on the bottom of the pond breathing through their butt. That's Venus. I think this blog is my way of reaching out. Alright, here's how to put a weird insole in a weird shoe. Fold in half. Tuck it in. Alright, so make sure it's heels all the way back, then use your fingers. Just sort of roll it along the bottom. 
Keep the heel back. Roll it along the bottom. And there you go. Adjust with your feet as needed.